Hello, my name is Dave Solano, TM out of Florida. And I'm Ryan Hoffnagel, SMS, Upstate New York. Welcome to the Sultiv Super Pulse Thulium Fiber Laser System in-service video. Today we will go over the Sultiv value proposition, advantages of the system, and then get into what you'll need to know about the front and back of the laser, connecting a fiber, the graphical user interface, the blast shield, and then we'll look at some tips, tricks, and troubleshooting. The Sultiv Super Pulse Thulium Laser Fiber System has key differentiators with performance claims and product features that make it stand out from other laser systems on the market. With two times faster lithotripsy using less power, virtually no retropulsion, it's versatile not only for lithotripsy procedures but also soft tissue procedures as well. It's one eighth the size of competing systems on the market. It plugs into any 110 wall outlet and with its air cooled system, it's very quiet. So what is the Sultiv Thulium Fiber Laser System? The Sultiv Laser System is powered by a long, slim internal fiber with thulium ions in its core. This inner fiber connects directly to a normal surgical fiber. The inner fiber is activated by light from LEDs similar to those in a smartphone display. It's a striking improvement over Homium YAG systems requiring far less power and maintenance upkeep to achieve better results. So what does the energy output look like? Sultiv combines much lower energy levels and much higher frequencies for exceptional performance, including dramatically reduced retropulsion effects. It emits laser energy at 1940 nanometers, the wavelength for peak absorption in water, for absorption more than four times higher than any homium YAG system. The results are striking, state-of-the-art fragmentation with virtually no retropulsion at select settings, the power to dust stones in half the time, with precision cutting of soft tissue with impressive hemostasis. Now that we know the value of the Sultiv system, let's take a look at what's included with your premium and your pro models. A power cord, a wireless foot switch that also includes your AA batteries which you will have to install, the interlock, three blast shields, HDMI video cable and accessories, and a safety sign. Although ancillary, the TC-L lithotripsy cart can be a great mobile solution that can be configured to include your shock pulse SE and all of its accessories. Other things you will need, Laser fibers. With seven different SKUs of laser fibers, we can find a laser fiber that fits the need of your customer. Other things you can include in your Sultiv system are laser fiber strippers and cleavers, as well as a wired foot switch. These are all listed in the Sultiv family brochure. Okay, so we're going to go over the front of the system now. There are several things you'll need to know. The power switch in the bottom left corner illuminates green when powered on. The red emergency stop button in the bottom right corner. In case of emergency, push the emergency stop button to immediately stop all optical emissions and high voltage generation of the laser. To reset the button, rotate the knob clockwise until it releases into the original position. The laser port has a dust shutter covering. The dust shutter automatically opens and closes when a surgical laser fiber is inserted and removed. Here's the LCD screen. With the premium, in addition to the LCD display, you'll also get the 12 inch pop-up auxiliary screen with graphical user interface for convenience. Moving on to the back of the system, we have the following. The port for the power cable, the port for the HDMI video cable, two USB ports for importing and exporting information from and to a flash drive, the remote interlock connector. Note, the laser cannot be used if it is not engaged. The connection for the wired foot switch if you have one as a backup. The potential equalization conductor which is the ground for the Biomed safety test. And two ports for external fuses that are only changed by the FSC. Before connecting the power cord, make sure to visually inspect the power cable for any tears or cracks. Do not use it if it appears to be damaged in any way. To connect the cord, Plug the female end of the plug into the power port on the back. Plug the other end of the cable into a standard wall outlet. Use a medical grade extension cord if the supplied power cord isn't long enough. If you're moving the laser system, always remove the power cord. Wrap and store the cord in a drawer or cord wrap on the cart. To turn the laser on, press the power button on the front panel to turn on the system. 
When the button is pressed, the LED lights up to indicate that the laser system is turned on. The initial screen will present the company logo, followed by the login screen. Then enter the default passcode of 1234. Now it's time to pair the foot switch. You have two ways to pair the foot pedal. During initial installation, which we will show you now, place the foot switch in the vertical position. Tap continue when ready. Press the button on the back of the foot switch for three to six seconds and then tap continue. Successful pairing will be indicated on the screen. Now we will show you how to pair the foot switch via settings. Press the settings button, then press the wireless pedal button. Then follow the initial pairing protocol. Alternatively, if using the wired foot switch, connect the cable in the rear of the laser system into the foot switch connector port. Note, the red indicator on the plug needs to be at the 12 o'clock position. Pairing is not needed with the wired foot switch. Olympus offers seven different laser fibers based on the procedure, and it's important to choose the right size micron fiber for the correct stone or BPH procedure. As you can see on this chart for laser fiber specifications, the fibers are color coded based on their sizes. Laser fibers are packaged in a protective coil. After choosing the correct fiber, remove the dust cap to connect. The laser fiber is connected to the laser system through a customized fiber connector. The laser will only admit laser energy if the system detects a valid laser fiber. The optical fiber port on the front of the laser system senses the presence of a laser fiber and will automatically open when the laser fiber connector is brought into close range. Once the door opens, insert the sterile surgical fiber by advancing the fiber connector straight into the port. Once inserted, surgical fibers are automatically detected by the system. Fibers do not need to be screwed into the port. Fiber information can be found by pressing settings and fiber information. So now the salt of laser is powered on. The foot switch and fiber are connected. Now we're ready to choose the procedure and adjust the laser parameters. At this time, we will recommend using the presets available within the lithotripsy, soft tissue, and BPH procedures. You can see with lithotripsy, you have dusting, fragmentation, fine dusting, and bladder stone. From the lithotripsy modes detail, you can see the recommended parameters and the justification behind those settings for the left and right pedals. Within soft tissue, you have ablation and incision modes. From the soft tissue modes detail, you can see the recommended parameters and the justification behind those settings for the left and right pedals. And lastly, within BPH, we have a nucleation and vaporization modes. Within each of these treatment settings, we have the recommended presets for the left and right foot pedal. Again, the chart provides similar recommended parameters and the justifications for those settings. All these charts can be found in the Salt of 101 Field Sales Training PowerPoint at the end. As you know, we recommend our presets, but if the physician would like to adjust settings, select the appropriate treatment preset or manual mode from on the home screen. Press the touch screen to adjust the parameters on a selected mode. Adjust the pulse energy or frequency to match the desired clinical effect by sliding your finger over the parameter, tapping the plus or minus buttons, or holding down the plus or minus buttons. There are three options for pulse width, long, medium, or short. Select the desired pulse width by pressing the pulse width indicator button to toggle between settings. At the end of the procedure, you will locate the total energy and total laser time used in the lower left side of the user interface. 
This laser maintains a laser log. In case the laser was shut down before retrieving the treatment information, this information can be recalled by pressing the home screen button, the settings button, then the treatment log. This data can be exported via the USB port located in the back of the laser. To adjust the aiming beam, select the aiming beam button on the treatment screen. This is based on physician preference, so adjust the intensity accordingly. The aiming beam provides three options, blinking emission, continuous emission, and no emission. As your physicians get more experience with assaultive laser, they may want to have individual presets. To access or create a new individual preset, click on the individual preset button and select the physician within the saved presets. Or if you would like to create a new physician preset, press the plus sign and key in the physician's name. Then hit OK. Now that a physician preset has been set up, you can save individual physician preferred presets to their profile. Make requested setting changes, then hit save preset in the lower left hand corner. Hit select physician, select the name, and hit OK. Hit save, and then you're back. The preset for the physician can be accessed through the individual preset on the home screen. Choose individual preset, choose physician, and choose the treatment. The physician has two options to enter the standby and ready modes. One is the foot pedal using the black button in the middle. Press for ready mode, and the icons on the screen will turn green. Press for standby mode and the icons will go back to blue. The other option is to enter standby ready through the treatment screen. Just select either the standby or ready buttons. Once you hit ready, the screen will transition from blue to green indicating ready for use. Similarly, hitting the standby button again will transition the screen back to blue. You'll hear an audible tone when transitioning between modes. Note, there is no delay from standby to ready. Once the ready button is pushed, you're ready to activate the laser. There is a two second delay before the laser is ready to emit. The foot switch will activate emission. The left and right foot pedals coincide with the left and right sections of the treatment screen. Each foot pedal can have a different setting to customize laser performance. Depress the appropriate foot switch to begin treatment. The emission screen is presented in yellow. The screen display will indicate the foot switch in use with the foot switch indicator symbol showing the inactive foot switch as a darkened image. The unit comes with three blast shields and you only need to change it if you get an error 50 code indicating that the blast shield is damaged which means that you will need to check and possibly change it. Since there are not mirrors or alignment issues, the initial blast shield has a long-term viable life. If facing the laser, the blast shield is located on the left side of the unit. To change the blast shield, use a small Allen wrench, pin or paper clip to press the small circle in the head of the blast shield located on the side panel of the laser system. The blast shield will pop out partially, pull the blast shield straight out of the laser system. Note the laser will not operate without a blast shield inserted. Insert a new blast shield, taking care of not to touching the lens, into the port and press until a tactile click is felt. Now that you fully understand the Salt of Super Pulse Thulium Fiber Laser System, we'll go over tips and tricks. Remember the 150 and 200 micron fiber are true to size and very delicate. Use the cheater from the guide wire to introduce the fiber into the port of the ureteroscope. The current enucleation setting is one joule at 60 hertz with long pulse. From field testing, we have found that there is less char and better results with one joule at 40 hertz set at a medium pulse, per Dr. Humphrey's field study. Smaller laser fibers will be the preference. Type profile of smaller laser fibers allow for more precision. 
The salt of 150 micron fiber can nearly triple the power of the competitor's 150 micron fiber due to the uniform beam profile, making it more precise. Before each case, make sure you have a good inventory of fibers on hand. It's also recommended that the facility purchase fiber cutters and strippers for each fiber that they use. The laser must be at a minimum of 59 degrees before it can be powered up. So those cold weather territories that are transporting the laser, make sure you have it up to speed before you turn it on. If you are fragmenting a matrix stone, organic material, or a tissue embedded, go to the BPH setting and choose vaporization. And remember, error 50 means that the blast shield most likely needs to be replaced. This system is heavy, 78 pounds for the Pro and 88 for the Premium. So we recommend that two people lift it. Field results have shown that the 550 micron fiber is a better option for your bladder stones as compared to the 940 micron fiber. That is due to the beam being more concentrated. But then again, you could also use the shock pulse for your bladder stones. If you run into any issues, please refer to the troubleshooting guide on page 51 of the maintenance manual. For example, if the user password has been lost, laser activation is not allowed, or wireless foot switch doesn't work, you can find solutions to these issues, among others, in the troubleshooting guide. We hope that you found this in-service video on the Sultiv Super Pulse Thulium Laser Fiber System helpful and informative. From all of us here at Olympus, I'm Ryan, that's Dave. Good luck and happy Sultiv selling.